Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and I've got a quick preview of what's coming up this week and next week on my channel, plus a quick tip for you guys. This week on my channel, I have a good old fashioned layout update. A lot has changed on my layout. I have been doing some geography work for the scenery. I have been doing some painting. I've been doing some track wiring and you're gonna get a sneak peek at some upcoming tutorials. So you'll definitely not wanna miss that. Then next week, I'm showing you my DIY sculpt mold alternative. I absolutely love sculpt mold but it can be expensive when you really need a lot of it. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my easy to use DIY sculpt mold alternative. Now on to the quick tip. My quick tip this week really pertains to why some things are more expensive than others in model railroading and it really comes down to manufacturing costs. Yes, the materials themselves are really inexpensive, but you have to think about the machinery that goes into making these things that can cost tens or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. And you also have to think about the people that have to do all the research and design work on these locomotives and rolling stock and other parts. So it's really, that's what you're paying for. You're paying for that research, you're paying for that manufacturing. That's why some things are more expensive than others. And that's my quick tip for this week. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any updates and quick tips like this video. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.